Greetings from Kyrgyzstan. Uh, my name is John Wright, for those that don't know me. I work in Kyrgyzstan with my family, and uh, we've been partnering with AP for several years now, and we've been able to accomplish some amazing things. The work that we do here is focused on from James 127, which is visiting the widows and the orphans in their time of need. And uh, we do that through many different ways. And uh, we're going to, I'll share a little bit about some uh, of One of our today. big projects is looking after kids after they come out of the orphanage and have no place to go. And that's what takes place here at the farm. And uh, this is one of the projects that AP has made such a difference here. They were able to kickstart the farm project. They sent a team and uh, you also sent money to build the barn for us. And uh, that was the beginning of the farm. It's been a really busy summer, and uh, as you can see, the the uh, everything is done so well. If you, uh, some people even said there's a bit of a revival going on at the farm. Uh, hey guys, thank you for all your help and all the prayers and stuff. Thank you for uh, having us, uh, helping us kickstart this farm project. Thank you for helping us build a barn. Now, like the barn is full of animals. We have pigs. We have rabbits, we have chickens, we have ducks, like a lot of animals and stuff. And uh, it's been a wild ride. We, this was a crazy, crazy summer, and uh, we were able to accomplish a lot. Uh, we've been overwhelmed with the amount of produce. We've been taking off thousands and thousands of pounds uh, off of the field every couple of days. And uh, we've been using that, has been all donated to this point to the orphanages, the seniors' homes, the, uh, the homes for the disabled, uh, even some of the shelters. In fact, there's been so much produce coming off the farm that we've contacted other NGOs and they've been coming out and getting carloads of produce to take to the people they work with. So the farm is a place for uh, children after they leave the orphanage and uh, fellows that are off the street that are gone through rehab programs. We have uh, Right now, four houses, and we have a fifth one that's on its way in the next couple of weeks. We'll close the deal, and we'll be able to have uh, single mothers with kids that come here as well. And uh, this will be a place of a second start. And people that come here can live here, work here, collect a small salary. We cover all their expenses, and uh, basically they can use this as a place to start over. It's always such an encouragement to everybody here when a team comes to visit, not just for our workers, but for the kids and the seniors and everybody that we work with. And uh, we're really blessed just uh, a few weeks ago to have Mason here with us. And uh, he was a team of one, but they sure knew he was in town and everybody had such a great time. So they wanted me to give a special thank you to Mason for uh, coming and visiting. Another project that AP had a part in was with putting the new floor in at the men's home. And uh, since that time, others of organizations have come out and seen the work that was done there and come aboard as well. And just as early as uh, a couple of days ago, there were actually brand new tables that were delivered by a partnering organization. So uh, the men are very excited and wanted me to thank you for the work that you have done there. Another way that AP has supported us is through the administration of funds that come in through the U.S. for tax receiving purposes. And that has been such a blessing to us. Uh, it's been more streamlined than ever before and it enables us to concentrate on the task at hand and not worrying about the resources coming in as much as what we've had to do in the past and we are so thankful thank for you that. so much again from the folks here in Kyrgyzstan for everything that you guys do and uh, we look forward to seeing you here on the ground in Kyrgyzstan again soon. God bless.